I wonder what Corrin's going to be doing there as we start game one here. And both of these characters are relatively explosive. Ryu's obviously known a lot more for it. His tilt to Shoru can set up and how early he kills, but Korn's no no straight at killing people relatively early as well. Yeah, you know, Korn has a lot of tools to do so. Uh, if she can push you off stage and get a tipper with either the forward smash or the side B even, you know, that's a death at, you know, 60, 70 percent off stage. Well, and Dexter's starting a little bit of a string right there, and I, I love that when he actually uses, uh, he stuck the ground. He's not actually jumping into his opponent mindlessly like a lot of Corrin's. He's jumping Ooh, up. But he's running right into those wow. uh, tip down smashes. It looks like he caught him as he landed, which is just really good execution by Dexter. It's really difficult to catch people on the couple frames that they can't do anything when they hit the ground. Right. But uh, Corrin's smash attacks have such a lot of active frames and such ridiculous range that uh, that's one of the easier characters where he can catch landings like that. And it is important to note that he did turn around so he would hit with the back end of the down smash instead of the forward end. Uh, the back end has that tipper hitbox similar to other smash attacks he has. Well, and Parappa's starting to fish just a little bit. You know, just like they are running in with a Shoryuken, getting punished with that uh, plant to the ground. What? But really? All right, so he was just like, yo, my B moves aren't working. Let me just throw out this last one, though. <laughs> Sure you didn't work, Hadouken didn't <laughs> work. Let's try one more. But, I mean, 77%, that's all he's at. Definitely not anything he can't come back from. Like, maybe two combos and Corrin might be thinking about death. At the same time, though, he's going to want to be careful. You know, if he starts fishing as he was at the end of that first stock, uh, this might be a relatively quick game for Dexter to take because Ryu's, although how powerful Ryu is, a lot of his kill moves are very unsafe if they're not confirmed into. Let's see if that plays out. Tries to chase, the, tries to get a tech chase, but wasn't able to quite follow up on it all the way. Dexter clearly looking for this F smash. He's like, you missed that one time. I'm going to get you. Now he's just zoning him out in the air with those four years, just pushing him back to the ledge. And that might not, won't be it. That's a uh, very nice DI there from Parappa. Is Parappa going to be able to bring this back? He has all the rage nope. in the world. Not quite enough for you. 150% is sort of a magical percent with Corrin where you can get a kill with up throw earlier, but at 150, it's almost guaranteed you're going to kill get a kill with up throw. That's actually a real kill throw. Yes. People need to stop calling Olimar's Blue a kill throw. Like, <laughs> I used to be a believer too, and then all these other characters are like, nah, man. We all kill at 160, 150. <laughs> it's like, all right, you got it. It's like, you ain't special, man. Come on. So... He is opting to try another character. He is known for his Bowser Jr. Let's see if the results are different this time. I'm actually going with the Wendy variation. Haven't seen him do that before. You gotta do it for Bay. She's watching at home. We'll see how it goes. Taking game to the battlefield here. He'll have a bit more room to run around. At the same time though, Korn will have a little more interesting interaction with her side. She will be able to snap around the stage a little better. And Corn also has the counter option, which you can definitely do on reaction to Bowser Jr. using side B. Right. And Dexter playing a great zoning game. He's not really trying to commit to anything. As I said, that he runs in. <laughs> but he's just throwing out forward air and just keeping Parappa at bay. Well, I think he's going to want to be a little careful because I think Wendy's and Corrin's forward airs have about similar range, so it'll come down to whoever throws it out first or in a better position, which we're sort of seeing play out as this match continues. I think Corrin just kind of outranges her, kind of like Mark would do. Oh, my oh, God, that, that was combo. A very nice setup there. Wasn't able to kill, but, man, talk about making a statement. Definitely, you know, tied up percents right real quick. Next year, trying to see how he's going to finish his stock in his side beat. No, not enough. Almost there. Dexter's pulling out all of his bag of tricks to try and get this kill. Ooh, Parappa a little late on that punish. Whenever Corrin does use the second part of that move, you can chase it down and punish it. There's the down throw. Not yet. Parappa still surviving with that DI. Wow, that was such a tricky setup. He had to worry about the toy on the ground and the back air from the other side. And then he just kept Corrin. He just getting Corrin. He right. just Goodbye, Wings. <laughs> Say, you may be a water dragon, but here's an, I got fire to put that out. And my man took the toy. How disrespectful. <laughs> That's me. And that was very nice there by Parappa. He was charging with the side B, but saw that Dexter was starting to charge his forward smash, so just immediately aborted the uh, mission. And Dexter looking out needs to close the stock relatively soon. 
really don't want to deal with a Bowser Jr. Ooh. after you hit like 50, 60 percent. Oh my, it was cute, but not enough. He's looking to get his stock, only he's at 192 percent. Not many things uh, that Dexter can throw out should live through. Can we talk about how That's amazing one Rabbit them. is being? He yeah. was staying on that ledge and bobbing in and out so well. And Dexter just wasn't able to get that final hit he needed while he had him off the stage. Oh, but he was able to get that chomp on the second part of the neutral B there. Only about a 48% difference right now, but Frapper is quickly just extending that lead. He actually did a custom combo just from the right side to the left side of the stage. <laughs> hit him on the head like, <laughs> like the Three Stooges. All right, gets the toy out. Dexter rolling around, doesn't want to have to deal with a 50-50 cross-up. Yeah, it was very smart, just avoiding that situation altogether. Ooh, and there's the forward smash, but won't get the stock yet. Not from mid-stage uh, with no rage. And that's not that. quite enough, but uh, Rob is definitely getting it very close. Curious to know if one Dexter will bring it back, and then two if he doesn't. Is he going to switch to Ness or stay corn? You know, really, I'm not sure. Uh, I think maybe Korn would be better in this matchup just because I think Bowser Jr. can get around the zoning tools Ness has. But that's beside the point because right now uh, we are in a last stock, almost last hit situation. Wendy isn't quite at kill percent yet, but keeps getting hit by uh, very well-spaced moves like that. She will be soon. Oh, Dexter, the down to the up air looking so crisp. And this is the moment of truth. If, if Dexter's going to do it, he needs to do it now. Oh, my gosh, that oh, was a chance. All right. If he would have got an F smash off instead, he definitely would have just won game two. And we have not seen him in our top four in a while, so that would be quite a feat for him to do, make it back up there like he used to. Same time, though, we, I don't think we've ever seen Parappa in our top four, though, so. We never have. Gets the toy. He's going to try to go for the Kimp again. There's I, the drop, but it was a little too uh, late there. Yeah, smart stuff with Dexter, recognizing how he died last time and going really, really low so that he can't get caught with the same setup again. All right, now Dexter's fishing for that grab, but no up throw is a little stale now. This is being the second time he did it. He should have did a couple pummels at least, knowing that it was stale. And he is running for his life. He literally dodged <laughs> all the way across the stage. Oh, and the Ooh, toy! Very nice up air off of that. Uh, Mecha Koopa explosion. He was actually looking like Zade with that setup to be perfectly honest. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was interesting to see that Dexter this time didn't opt to just roll because last time that same setup came up, he just rolled away. He's like, I'm not even going to deal with it. I think maybe uh, since he did it before, maybe he was thinking that uh, Parappa would be more onto it and, you know, just to mix up his uh, options to get away from Parappa. That might have been what it is, but. Sometimes a no mix up is the mix up. All right, and there's Ludwig, the yeah. king of the Koopalings. So he's, he's, he's on the low tip, still counterpicking him. <laughs> he's like, yo, man, no Wendy, no Wendy. Wendy was too close. <laughs> we got the roar he didn't have to pay for now. Changed his mind about that Ludwig. Here, the, the king's going to sit back home. Here we go, town and city for game three. Uh, that'll be interesting to see play out, especially if the matches go how they've been going, where it goes to high percentage before stocks are taken. Yeah, I don't particularly agree with this, um, mainly because Corrin wasn't. Corrin was getting kind of the earlier kills anyway. Do you really want to give Bowser Jr. a chance to kill you earlier? I'm not sure. We'll find out. But right now, Dexter is starting off better, but. Just like that, Brabbit turning around and putting up a beautiful wall that Corrin's just kind of struggling to get around. And we're just being very nice to just staying a little bit ahead of him and uh, racking on some damage. But that being said, when Dexter gets in there, he is able to land some keep uh, attacks, as we saw with that forward air. But there's very nice dash attack covering a landing option. Brabbit seems to have a much better punish game as far as landings are concerned than Dexter. Every time he hits him in the air, he's always hitting him as he hits the ground, whether it's a dash attack, a grab. A jab. He's always getting the extra 10% in there somehow. And that might be the difference in this match if it's just as close as it was last game. Cool. Very nice. Just it was so raw. calling him out when he was going to drop that shield. It was that so smash. raw. He beat Wall in the same fashion, except it was last stock. And wow, the up smash anti air coming in from Dexter did not know that was possible. Ooh, very Ooh, nice up tilt. Awesome. Reminiscent of melee, actually. Okay. 
Dexter gets inside of Bowser Jr. and opts to do an up smash. That was just so random. Don't know what he really wanted to get off of that, but he took 18, so it might not have been worth it. Now, for Rapper's just on the assault right now, just saying right up in Corrin's face. Even though Corrin's trying to throw out moves to punish for Rapper's approaches, it's just not making, or Rapper's making it not work out for him. Wow, and he's like, yo. Don't throw my toy at me, because you're going to eat quick 20% for it. <laughs> Grappling staying near the ledge, bobbing in and out. Just kind of waiting for that opening. He's not forcing anything, which is smart, because you don't want to do that against a character like Karin, who has so many tools to just keep you at bay if you do mindlessly come in. Ooh, almost landed that forward smash there, but Grapple was able to jump over it, and clinging with that forward smash there. He's just barely dodging his forward smashes at this point. The one thing that Parappa might want to be wary of is he is up smashing, I mean, spot dodging a lot. And if Corrin catches onto that, he can definitely hit him with the neutral B, can hit him with the F smash, so many options to get a kill off of that. Ooh, very nice. Uh, Koopling actually coming back down and interrupting that Nair, so Corrin wouldn't be able to get any follow-ups afterwards. Is that going to do it? Not quite yet. The last stock, both high percent. Next match attack will decide who advances in this tournament. Or next side B, but no, just barely being able to hold on to this stock. So tricky, Rapa trying to bait him. Oh my gosh, ah, that will do it. Very nice, shielding that short hop back air and just catching that landing with the tip of the uh, side B there. Stop performance by both of them, and Dexter making his way into the top four. It's been a while, but my man, he's been missed. He's been missed. Bring himself back into it. Good for him.